Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing with the Copy Machine, an incredible new Simic deck. Is it true that if you have green eyes, that your DNA is encoded with the oracle text of every magic card ever written? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host and not a medical doctor. Stop sending me pictures of your infested junk. Dr. Yukon Suck It! Yes, thank you! Film for a live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Suck It! Words, your mama. So I am broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation called the Copy Machine. Uh, what I did is I grabbed, I think one of the the mono green decks I've been playing with, and then I interspeched some of the Blue Sun Twilight, the Fading Hope Search Engine, Croaking Counterpart, and a bunch of different land. Because what I wanted to do was use the uh, the green ramp to get up to the mana thing quickly, keep these kinds of things open and available, and then potentially get ourselves into Titan of Industry and Tyrannix Rex, being able potentially to copy them and or you know send in the search engine early and often, destroying our opponents before they get an opportunity to do anything. So quickly, let's take a look what we got. We got uh, Bounce a Dude back. We have the ability to force a fight between our guys. This gives one of your dudes indestructible and hex and X proof, as well as pumping them up temporarily. Surge Engine comes out, becomes unblockable, and a 5-4, and can give you good lands. Armored Skirt that's uh gives you mana. This is a mana dude. This allows you to steal somebody else's dude. This allows you to make a copy of somebody's dude. This allows you to make a copy of somebody else's dude. Titan of Industry is a Swiss every name for pure awesomeness. This guy is trample ward haste and toxic and cannot be countered. And is an 8 8. And over here, we've got a nice collection of blue and green lands. All right, so let's take this out and destroy people's hearts, hopes, and dreams. How are we going to do that? We're going to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and hear the lamentation of the women. All right, putting against Draconin, Draconin, D. Rakin in. Keep. We need to get our mana going. We need to get our mana going. We get our mana going. All right, blue. Let's go ahead and put out surge engine. Kill my can. Surge engine. I'm pulling another blue. What do we got going on? Why is that book just floating around? Where does it have a body? What is this guy? Ah, it's not gonna do much good, I don't think. All right, uh, what about two? One, two, three, four. Let's just pop this guy up to one. Pop this guy up to four. And all in for five. What will this do? Remove oil counters. Destroy enchantments. Yeah.
And now we're just racing. Uh, all my guys are way too big for me at the moment. I tell you, I'm going to make a copy of my uh, Surge Engine. And then all in. I think he's going to be yoked on the next turn. Becomes a 5-4. Yeah. Nice. All right. So that's lethal on the next turn. And I win. Boom, boom. Goes the room. I'm right, playing with uh, Shiki. Shiki, Shiki, Shiki. One, two, three. Keep it. We'll go get some basic lands. Because basic lands are the best. What does that thing do? Proliferate, whatever, okay. Get some blue this time. Okay, I think this is gonna start touching me in an icky way. I would really like to start getting out some big guys, but we got a long way to go. Done. I mean, I've quite a get. That's uh seven. That one's seven. Where's my cheaper dudes? Yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm a frog. Ribbit. All right, we're up to five. We're getting closer here now. Nice. Let's just play defense. No attacks. Okay. How much does this guy cost? Two? Oh, I don't need that many. Sorry. That many. Do I have that many? Uh, no, I don't. Wah, wah. If I had one more, I'd be able to make a copy of them, too. But I didn't quite have the money, the mana for that. It's that magic seven, where you can do anything for seven. Oh, he's grabbing him himself back. I think he's going to try to steal my guy. I mean, he's seven. He couldn't do it with the... Uh... Blue Sun. Way too expensive. I could do that, though. Whoa, 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 wait, where's it? I'm not going to play it that way. No, I could get rid of that thing. It'll be fine. Yeah, Tyrannix is loaded, dude. Do you not have haste? 
that the deal? Why didn't I go? He has haste. Why didn't I attack? So I'm an idiot. Get yourself a land, Peabody. All right, he's down to eight. I got a Fading Hope. So I was thinking about using the Fading Hope just to bring Titanic's back. That would have done the same thing. And I could have played him again, but uh, eh, I kind of got the impression I wanted to use it a little more offensively. It cannot be blocked. All right, he's only got one more thing left. I'm up to eight. You can try to get another one out there. I'm not going to let you touch me. That's not going to happen. Nope. And we win. Despite my many fumbles and foibles. All right, putting against Isco. One, two, three, and a couple little dudes. People who play this always play mono blue. Rule, huh? Let's just go for the mana. And no blocks, have a good time. Does that guy cost three? All right, there's four, so we're gonna put out an armored and a surge engine. Next turn, I can steal him. He'll probably put out something better, though. I can't believe I wasted a dude like that. All right, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite enough. Let's go ahead and steal ourselves. One, two, three. Welcome to the Thunderdome, baby. All right, so we got Indestructible and Hexproof if we need it. Yeah, I can't do anything. It's not worth it. Uh, I can block, I guess. Let's do that. 
Block, 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 block. All right, 5-4 is not going to help us out too much. It could be a 3. I could tie bar it, though. Rip that guy apart. Let's bushwhack while we're at it. Take out his side. All right, that's looking good. That was our tricks. That was it, folks. Still, we're only sitting at six. I need seven. There it is. I guess he's getting the haste. All right, just let it happen. Sit back and relax. There you go. That's the way it happens there. Don't worry, I got a I got a rhinoceros with the manual cover. Eight seven, nice for you. Victory! And we're playing against Inuasha. One two three, keep. I'm gonna go do a little bushwhacking. And uh, we'll grab green. Get out a loam speaker. He shall speak to the loam in a kindly and firm way. Loam, you've been looking good lately, but I've got to tell you that you've been laying on the job a little much, and I'd appreciate it to get a little bit more from you. All right, we got a loam speaker coming out to kick somebody's butt. All I could do is hope he tries to wheel up. If he goes for a sacrifice, I can't keep it alive. I'd have to, I'd have to phase it out. All right, so to be able to get that guy, I need six mana, and at which point I only got five at the moment. But it will turn the game. Is he really going to give up on Liliana for that? Ah, good for him. He's got another one. All right, well, I'm not protecting crap with that card, so there we go. Look, it is. It's another Lana Warlom speaker. I keep him alive. We can get our hands on Shouldred this next turn. Of course, he might just go after the Blue Sun's Twilight, and I'll be screwed. Good. All right, all I can do is hope I can grab myself another man on this next turn. 
Come on, mana! Mana, 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 mana. Not mana. You can do this, though. Hello, I'm Shouldred. No, you're a frog. No, I am Shouldred, and I am dead sexy. Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're a frog, sir. That didn't last long. That's it for Blue Sun's Twilight. And we're dead. <laughs> Fumble on the third long line for the Lava Bears. Our thing against Shoguns. Keep. Bushwhack for a blue. Grape Gorger. All right, how much does this thing cost? Cost two, which means I can snag him on the next turn. No attacks. That guy costs three. Ah, oh, it's a rat dick. Coming at me, bra. What does this thing do? Sacrifice artifact, draw a card, act three more points of counter once you turn a turn. All right, and we are up to a point where we can start copying stuff in cool ways. No blocks. Ninja! Need seven, only got six. Believe it or not, copying your guys is not my only part of the game. Mm. 
Where is my seventh mana now? Uh, let's see, I can copy another dude. Which one would I want to do? And if those are mana at the top there, I'll be pissed. Yes, god dang it. Nope, I need mana. Please don't be mana at the top. Oh, sweet God. It was two mana. Oh, three in a row. How great for me. All right. Uh, Titan of Industry. Let's put out five life and a rhino token. You get a ninja. Well, that was everything, huh? What do I got there? Six, seven, eight. And we win! Touchdown, Lava Bears! Alright, so here you are with the copy machine, a Simic deck. And uh, it was totally lots of fun, exactly like we thought it would be when we were talking about Blue Sun's Twilight. Loved it, big time. Love stealing other people's pe stuff, uh, to making copies of them with that guy right there. What else were we doing? I guess we made copies of our own guys as well if we really needed to. Um, the Fading Hope and the Tyvar Ty Stand were great cards for uh, making use of it. So, and then, of course, as I say, if you got blue in your deck, it should always have a Surge Engine, and it was doing a fantastic job as well. So, I don't know, this deck was a fantastic deck. I really liked it. I mean, it didn't win every single time, but it was more about the interesting, fun play than it was about the high win rate. So, um, who was the hero of this deck? Who was the hero I'm thinking here. It was probably the Blue Sun's Twilight. Being able to snag a dude and then bring him back over to your side. There's many times where, like, I'd grab a shoulder or something, and that'd pretty much be the end of it. Um, I gotta tell you, the, the croaking counterpart was serious fun, though. It was great making copies of guys and then ballooning them up or whatever you need to do with it. This, this is an incredibly fun card. The problem is it comes out as a 1-1 frog, but if you plan ahead of time, it's not so bad. Okay, so let's see. Was this deck competitive? Well, we got 57%, and if this was off the Premium Mythic list, or the Platinum Mythic list, I would say, yeah, totally, because it's off the Platinum Mythic list, even though I was disappointed with its with its win rate. Still, 57, that's good. I just didn't get off of somebody else's list, so I'm just going to say, yeah, it's all right. I'm not going to say it's high competitive, but it's worth playing. Secondly, was this deck fun? Yes, it was fun. Tyrannix Rex getting out, super fun. Making copies of stuff with the counterpart, totally fun. Blue Sun, yes, absolutely. Even Surge Engine is just a bundle of a little ray of sunshine to play with. Being able to keep things alive with the stand, be able to bounce things back, being able to bushwhack stuff, cool, 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 cool all the way across. 
Was this deck interesting? Yes, because of the fact that we were stealing and copying things. This deck just, it was, I mean, it was simicking like Simic loves the Simic, man. That's all I can say. So, the fact that it was very interesting, very fun, and more or less okay on the winning rate, I'm going to give it a solid A. An A deck, not an A+, but still well worth playing, well worth having fun with. If you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have as much fun as I did. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.